As former US Secretary of State Henry Kissinger once said, power is the ultimate aphrodisiac. The high from power has time and again resulted in sex scandals involving top leaders. Kissinger's homeland, the United States, is no exception. The US President is considered to be the most powerful person on earth and therefore is most susceptible to the aphrodisiac of power. That's the reason why allegations of sexual misconduct and scandals have rocked the Oval Office, the seat of the United States Presidency. Donald Trump's stormy affair is hogging all the headlines right now. It reached a crescendo with the testimony of the adult star Stormy Daniels, where she described her encounter with Trump very vividly. The sexual affair with Stormy Daniels was before Donald Trump became the president. This relationship of power and sex is old, really old in America. It all started in the early days of the Republic with the third American president, Thomas Jefferson. From Jefferson to Woodrow Wilson to John F. Kennedy and George Bush to Bill Clinton, the White House has regularly been embroiled in allegations of sex scandals and has a long history of seduction, sex and satin. In a book, Sex with Presidents, Eleanor Herman explores the sex scandals of US presidents and what they reveal about male leadership in the White House. Let's talk about Donald Trump first. Donald Trump, whose life and presidency has been marked by a barrage of controversies, has also been named in some of the most serious allegations of sexual misconduct and some salacious scandals involving over a couple of dozen women. At least 26 women have accused Donald Trump of sexual misconduct since the 1970s, according to Business Insider Report. Long before his political entry, heavy on a persona of wealth and machismo, Trump got himself surrounded by sexual harassment allegations, first by his former wife Ivana. Their divorce came after Donald Trump's highly publicized affair with the actress Marla Maples. Trump later married Maples. Trump's relationships with women and his conduct came under intense scrutiny during his time in office, after the victims opened up. Jill Hart, a former business associate of Trump, alleged in a lawsuit filed in the 1990s that Trump had sexually harassed her, including unwanted advances and groping. Hart claimed these incidents occurred during their business dealings related to beauty pageants and a potential business venture. The most infamous among them was the revelation of a decade-old recording in 2016 released by the Washington Post, wherein Trump boasted about groping and kissing women without their consent. The whole affair then later saw a firestorm of condemnations which Trump vehemently denied. Let's move on to the extramarital escapades of George W. Bush, who had been married to his wife Laura since 1977 when he faced charges of a rape by a woman. A year after Bush became the president in 2001, a Texas woman named Margie Schrodinger claimed he raped her in 2000. A year later, Schrodinger died by suicide, according to a Newsweek report. Bush was accused of race-based harassment and individual sex crimes committed against her and her husband. This was reported in a local Texas newspaper. The lawsuit she filed received minimal attention from the American media then. A few years down the line, the case was dismissed. But media wasn't so forgiving of another president, Bill Clinton. The Monica Lewinsky scandal, which came to the light in 1998, rocked the Clinton presidency. Clinton's affair with Lewinsky, the White House intern, became the subject of intense media scrutiny and legal proceedings, resulting in his impeachment by the House of Representatives. Clinton had engaged in a sexual relationship with Lewinsky while she worked at the White House. Clinton groped her in the Oval Office in 1993. Over the next two weeks, a flight attendant and a former Miss America also claimed they were groped by Clinton. This is according to a Time report from 2018. The scandal, which became national news, not only tarnished Clinton's personal reputation, but also tarnished his administration's achievements. Regardless, Clinton weathered the storm and remained in office after being acquitted by the US Senate. In an earlier allegation, nurse-turned-Republican leader Juanita Broderick 
accused Bill Clinton of raping her in 1978. That was way back during his Arkansas Attorney General days. In 1999, Broderick first made her accusations public and told the Washington Post that the incident occurred when she invited Clinton to her hotel room for coffee. And now let's talk about Bush Sr. While not as widely publicized as some of his successes, even President George H. W. Bush's presidency was not without a sex scandal. During his time in the White House, rumors spread about extramarital affairs including allegations of a long-term relationship with his assistant, Jennifer Fitzgerald. Bush Sr. even managed to invite Fitzgerald to George and Laura Bush's wedding reception. This is according to a 2021 piece in the Washington Post. Barbara Bush, his wife, was suicidal in the 1970s after George H. W. Bush was accused of having an affair with Jennifer Fitzgerald, according to Susan Page's book, The Matriarch, Barbara Bush and the Making of an American Dynasty. George H. W. Bush was married to Barbara for 73 long years. She remained his only wife and George H. W. died eight months after her passing. Going further back, did Gerald Ford sleep with a spy? Gerald Ford was implicated in allegations of involvement with an East German spy. These claims were made by a former Senate staffer who had close ties to Johnson, as reported by the Washington Post. In an interview with Politico, this staffer asserted that he introduced the spy to Kennedy first. He further claimed that she engaged in sexual encounters with Ford during his time as a congressman, alleging the existence of an FBI recording featuring Ford and the female spy. She was later deported to East Germany, as reported by the New York Daily News. Ford served as president from 1974 to 1977 and enjoyed a long-standing marriage with Betty Ford. Did Richard Nixon have a Chinese mistress? It didn't take much for the papers and magazines to brew up interesting stories for their readers to lap up. But usually, there was no evidence to support them, just like in this case. But let's move on now to the most infamous affairs of Kennedy. From being linked to a journalist to Hollywood actress Jean Tierney, during his initial days in politics, a lot more scandals and controversies came the way of John F. Kennedy. These include the East German spy we mentioned earlier. By the way, she claimed Kennedy contemplated leaving his wife for her. Kennedy was also rumored to be having relationships with Melvin Monroe, Judith Campbell, Mary Pinchot uh, Mayer, Marlene Dietrich, White House intern Mimi Alford, and even his wife's press secretary. This long list is according to the People magazine. However, on his 45th birthday, J.F. Kennedy was famously seen with Melvin Monroe, which prompted widespread rumors. The extent of his involvement with Monroe remains unclear, though they reportedly spent time together in 1962. Many movies have speculated upon the death of the star as a result of that very affair. While many of these White House affairs remain just speculation, several have been documented as sex scandals. It is said power gets into people's heads. The encounters of US presidents show what happens when power gets into beds. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comment section. And for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.